all right everyone welcome back to another video this video please excuse the mess actually because i'm working on my backyard i'm having some uh renovations backyard big backyard project so please excuse the mess but let's get to the video let's get to these beautiful turtles turtle shells excuse me i have the mask on my face let me just remove this there you go so i already finished painting this three uh three coats of Krylon. This is not the actual color. I'll put the color below that I'm using because I have the can inside. But we're gonna use this lighter green on these two shells here. I believe this is gonna be the uh, Leonardo and Michelangelo. I think those two are the lighter colors and Donatello and Raphael are the darker colors. So what I'm doing is I'm doing this project for my kid. He's turning six and he wants a, a Ninja Turtle um, uh theme but my wife and i this is 2022 it's very hard to find anything ninja turtle related for birthday party accessories so my wife and i were doing a lot of um do-it-yourself projects so my kids party is next saturday i just finished doing three coats on this you know what let me go get the other uh paint so you guys can see but we're gonna get started with this one i'm gonna remove these like in the next five minutes or so by then these should be dried up so i can put them inside now I'm gonna put these two and then place them onto the cardboard boxes and use the lighter green. The reason why I'm using this is because it's paint and primer. Normally if you're gonna paint something, especially on metal or any surface, you're gonna to need to primer it first. But what I love about this is that this already has the primer inside. So all I really did is just do three coats of this and I was good. So let me move these to the side and show you guys the other can that I use for these two colors. This is the uh, spray can that I use for the two darker turtle shells. Again, this has already primer included. This is what you want when you want to paint these, uh, what are these, uh, turkey? I don't even know what they're called. Turkey trays, chicken trays, oven trays. I'll look them up and put them on the description but that's exactly what my kid wanted he wanted shells but i think this is going to be more decorations and onto the wall i don't think i'm going to have the kids play with it just because i'm concerned that the edges are going to scratch them but what i plan on doing is having two dark green turtles use this color it's a perfect color for it and then the other two i'm using the lighter green and what we're going to do is we're going to have them painted then i'm going to put like a belt with the uh, logo, uh, not the logo, but the letters of each turtle, and then I'm gonna have them hung on the wall. This is a happy birthday, Mason. But I may also include like a wooden weapons, like Donatello's bow, Michelangelo's um, nunchucks, the katana, and the sai. Um, maybe that, or just use the rope and make the color of the rope to indicate the color of the turtle. But we'll see whatever works is what i plan on doing but i'm just teaching you guys how to use uh how to do your own turtle shells especially if you can't find them online all right guys so let me start painting the uh the two lighter shells All right, so this is just the first coat. And as you can see, I only worked mainly on the side. And that's just the first coat. On my second coat, I'm gonna continue doing the round, just going around on the sides and then just do a light pass on the top. On the third coat, you can just do a light last coat on, on the perimeter. And then you're gonna start working on the, on the uh, pretty much just like your second coat on top. Then you're gonna do a third coat on the top to make sure you get every single corner just because uh, the darker green shells that I did, I only did it three times and I came to notice that when I brought it inside uh, at light, I can see that there were some spots were missing. It's just because the angles of these right here, 
So you're gonna have to do at least four coats on top, but you have to do them in light coats because you do not want it to drip. Once it starts to drip, it doesn't look good. You wanna make sure that it all evenly gets coated. All right, so that is the second coat that you see here. If you come to realize that the top is very lightly coated because I'm continuing working on the uh, outside of the shell, what I did on the second coat, I ran a good heavy coat around, but not too heavy where it starts to drip. So if you take a good look, nothing's dripping, but all the sides are now pretty much covered in green. And that was just the second coat. So what I'm gonna do is, on the third coat, I am now gonna transfer the heavy coat onto the top of the shell and just go lightly. If I see any uh, aluminum sticking out of the uh, uh, of the paint, that means I went too light on the side. But from what I'm looking at, right now what I'm talking about is right here, the edges. The edges seem like it's all good and green, but once you bring it inside, you'll notice that some of them are not as green as, as it's supposed to be. But right now, I think they're all good. I may have missed a little bit right there, but that's fine. So again, third coat, I'm gonna start working on the top here, on the top part of the shell. And right now you're looking at the duct tape that I'm using. I'm using beige burlap from uh, duct tape. I believe I got this online. Um, or I may have got that at Walmart. But either way, um, I used the same roll for the um, for his for the turtle's band. I cut it up in three different slices. One for the main one that you see going across the shell. That's the first one right there. And then I went ahead and I started cutting two shorter slabs, one for each side, to give it that that effect as if it was going wrapped around. Now I'm over here, that's what I'm showing you, the duct tape. I uh, use the size of the circle to um, I grab the yellow construction paper. Uh, you can see the brand that I'm using there. Then I uh, went ahead and I um, started writing the, the turtle's letters. I tried to mimic I went online to see how the style of the font. And here I'm using the marker now to trace it, use the eraser if I have to. I'm trying to give it that clean look for now, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting them into circles, and then using a black marker to start coloring them in. Make sure that you take your time using a black marker so you don't really see any of the lining of the marker and it's just a solid black. This project pretty much took me about, I would say, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, not counting the painting. This is just pretty much doing the letters. Um, just because I didn't know what kind of circle I should get, where I should get that circle. So I, the best um, thing that I had was the duct tape. Here I'm pretty much showing everything. We're getting ready for our kids' party. Um, showing you almost a half-finished product. Then I used this 3M tape. I'll put the link below where I got this 3M tape. Just because they were perfect, they were squares. Small little squares that I can just cut open and put one on each side, as you see there. When I was pretty much done, all I had to do was just peel off the other side and put them in the center of the uh, turtles there, as you see. Look at all those pizza candies on the side there. And right there, that wallpaper is what I want to be using to decorate my son's uh, uh, one corner of our house that will be dedicated to, I believe, it's Leonardo Michelangelo. Um, and then I have another side where we're dedicating it to Mike, uh, Raphael and Donatello. What's Michelangelo Donatello? There you go. That brick wall will have them. And then later on in this video, you'll see that we have the turtles on another side. The other two turtles. Well decorated. I believe this is the area where we have the photo booth. Where we take photos. Everyone loved it. It came out great. Uh, it was great that I was using two different cans of, of uh, paint. Just to, um, to show that the turtles characters... Because some are darker than the others. Now my young older sister, she was able to make those balloons and turn them into turtles, which is pretty cool. Um, we went ahead and bought green jello, Kool-Aid jello, and just used uh, colorful tape to wrap them around to give them that turtle look. And we just bought some of those, uh, those googly eyes. 
And now here you're seeing black balloons uh, with googly eyes and red ribbons. There's a winning ticket inside one of those balloons. The objective is to pop them and whoever receives that winning ticket gets a prize. Here I'm just showing green balloons to set up the uh, Ninja Turtles. And this right here is a project that I did, but I didn't fully record the whole process. I went online and took um, images of the Ninja Turtles and then I used a uh, cup to circle the artwork, cut them out. Um, the whole reason was to play this game where it's 20 cups and you have a 20 sided die. The player would throw the die on the floor and whatever number it falls, it would, the, the, the player, the child would get that cup number, open up the cup and it would receive a prize. If it's small enough, it'd go inside the cup. It, if not, that cup would have a number of the prize that they're going to win. See so right here, you already see that the um, the uh, images are all cut up in a perfect circle. And I try to get about at least seven soldiers. So the soldiers are all candy prizes. But every single every single uh, other character is a, a actual toy prize or something bigger. Here, I'm using the Dremel. I'm cutting up a foam board so I can uh, fit the cup inside. Uh, it was a long process. I didn't have the exact tool for it, but I made it work. And then I used black plastic dip to spray the foam uh, core, the foam board, as you'll see here. Here, I'm just putting some little prizes inside the cups. Those are the foot soldiers inside the black foam core. The red cups is what's hiding the toy within if it's small enough. I'm using a 3M tape, well, it's Gorilla Tape, to stick underneath the artwork on top of the aluminum foil, which is in the can. Well, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.